Welcome back to another Starcast TV and I am Scan. Today we are going to cast some interesting game between Chobodari vs Sharp and Chobodari as Hero. So Hero vs Sharp, Sharp vs Hero, spawning location in the bottom right, the white third. This is Hero. The other side of the player, spawning location. And the top left, the red Terran, this is sharp. And let me fix something real quick, one, sec one second. Yeah, okay, I'll just do that after then. Uh, so yeah, this is a Terran vs Zerg matchup. We're gonna be seeing some Terran vs Zerg matchup on Ringing Bloom. This is a little bit of an old version of a Ringing Bloom, where it only has one. Uh, one cocoon, and we're gonna be seeing some proxy Arax starts by Sharp. So that is very interesting. And at the same time, Sharp is making uh, Hero is making more drone, and slowly sending his uh, sending his drone to. Behind expansion, 12 hatchery. Finally, going for. Uh, never mind, I thought that was gonna go for the drone scout, but. Gas first! So, 12 hatchery into gas first versus proxy 8 racks. So, interesting by both players. So double scout by Sharp, and immediately when he once he finds out this ob alert, he will turn around. Yeah, he spotted the ob alert. He will turn. Both of the players will turn. But we know uh, Hero has gone for the gas first, so spawning pole is not fast. But the good news is it's cross spawn. Whenever the matchup is cross spawn, uh, the matchup is cross spawn. Uh, he 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 can't really like try to end the game. So the spy, uh, the spawning pool is almost being finished. SEV has come. Nice drone block. Spawning pool just now finishes. There now starts, but at the same time the bunker starts as well. Pulling couple of a drone, but the uh, the path, the uh, the path of the drone couldn't move really fast because of the extractor and the spawning pool. Now the bunker is slowly being built but the factory okay so this is going to be a 111 opening by sharp so he's going to be adding more bunker to the bottom side but this i'm not sure about this bunker placement over here this is completely out of range so with these with this four marine he's not earning anything i'm not sure about this decision will we go for the trade over here Hero is cutting a little bit of a Vespin gas because he can't, he needs to hold up the hold up the uh, what is it the harassment by making more zergling. The more zergling being built, Obolus should be coming out very 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 soon. Trying to go for the surround but does not have enough uh, zergling yet. Obolus just came out. More zergling is being built. Metabolic Plus should be finishing soon. But now Zergling is gonna go for the surrounding, but they're waiting for the metabolic boost. Metabolic boost should be done by now. Yes, it is done. Now he's gonna go for the surrounding the mar Marine. Marine will be taken down. So only one Marine. Two Marines are dangerously low HP. More Zerglings being built. So that is definitely a lot of Zerglings. Nearly two groups of Zerglings still remaining. So this is going to be a very hardcore bust. Uh, bunker being built. So this is not a really good looking wall. Bunker is still not finished yet. But more vultures is trying to uh, make. But the marine is a little bit of a not okay situation. Marine will get inside of the bunker. Focus target on the bunker. Okay, bunker will go down. But vultures also dangerously low HP. One vulture will go down. Second vulture is still... 
of 55 HP remaining. Vulture will get surrounded by the Zergling and this is not looking good. Oh no, I think this... Oh wait, what the hell? We did not get to see the ver Vulture, so there was a sneaky Vulture somehow got inside of a hero's main base. So both of the players are taking a lot of damage. The Vulture will go down. The, this uh, harassment, the Vulture harassment is doing a lot of damage as well. Uh, the Vulture will go down, so there are 13... 13 drone remaining, double uh, double gas right now. He has he is taking. Finally making the eBay, but the spire tech is already done for hero. Hero will be making the middles soon. Yes, he will be making the three middles. But I'm not sure if he really needs more gas right now. He's right now stuck at 13 drone, so maybe not mining the gas might be a better idea. So he'll be cutting off. Uh, six more zergling. One, one last zergling will be coming back home. So with that small amount of a middle, I think it may do some damage, but the eBay will finish on time. So, but at the same time, I want to point this out: that sharp is right now stuck at one base mining with a sixteen worker. So this is gonna be one base turn versus one base versus a uh, one base turn versus a two base zerg, who both uh, both of the players don't don't have much of a worker. Nicely picking up those uh, two vulture earlier. Miss the turret being finished. Adding more drone one by one. Plus one carapace on the way. Academy will be finishing soon, but there are five mi five marine, five marine versus three muta. I feel like he's gonna be attacking this uh, cocoon. He can attack the cocoon and do some splash damage, but I guess he won't. I guess Hero is just gonna be making a little bit of more drone and maybe take the expansion over here. Okay, he's not gonna be taking. He changes the mind. Okay, I thought he's gonna put the hatchery, but never mind. So he'll be putting down the hatchery at the main base. Uh, with the three middles, he's confirming what Sharp is doing. Sharp right now is stuck, stuck at two base. Uh, two racks, one base, two racks, the plus one attack on the way. Fact he does have the factory, so he will be able to put down the stuff immediately. One SCB will go down. Uh, more drones, that's a lot of drone. So both of the players have about the uh, same amount of worker count. Sharp does have the uh, tech advantage, but doesn't even matter because Sharp really needs to get that uh, upgrade being finished. Okay, the range upgrade should be finished by now. What oh, was that? The steam pack? Yeah, that was a steam pack. Never mind, that wasn't the range. So, steam pack upgrade finishes. Getting more marine and a medic. Finally, we get to see some hydro den. Oh, and the medic was getting out of position. The medic might get picked up, but never mind. So a lot of zerglings remaining. Hydralis and a lot of Vespin gas still remaining. So if if uh, hero starts to switch to the late mid and late game and getting the lurker out on the map with the air care pace, this mutal is going to be super tanky. Plus one attack is gonna be finished into Starboard as well. So we need, uh, we can say who's gonna be winning the games because uh, we know this is kind of like a somewhat a semi semi all in by Zerg because he's stuck at two base so far with the three hatchery versus one base Terran who has all the way up to science facility tech and the vessel is a very good unit. They can use the uh, ready. To the middle of still not enough uh, middles. Finally, he will have 11 middles ready. There are 11 middles. One for the harassment, picking up a missile turret. Nice, nice one. Another one. Never mind. Vessel should be starting. Armor one on the way. Finally, a uh, hero is now. Getting a couple of Hydralis out on the map. Three Lurkers should be starting soon. But before three Lurkers, he's gonna be making the Hatchery first. 
11 middles are buying some time really, really well. The uh, plus one in carapaces does help him to survive long. Nice and splash damage. Yeah, that, that's what I was talking about. You can attack the uh, Zerg Obermine Cocoon. And you can do the splash damage to the Marine. Nice pick up. One shot, three kill. One shot, three kill. Yeah, he's trying to bait. Like, hey, I'm, my middle is over here. Use Steam Pack and come over here. And he's gonna be constantly attacking. Doing some of the splash damage and picking up one, one Marine at a time. Throwing a couple of Zergins and do some Mira Micro. P picking up some of uh, Mira and Medic. Uh, not Mira, Marine and Medic. Finally, the Science Vessel get, uh, got out on the map, but not enough energy still. Uh, Hero is still stuck at. Uh, lair tech only with the carapace, so... Uh, hero confirmed sharp doesn't have the second base. That's a good news. But the main base, uh, missile turret will go down. Focus turret getting on the missile turret. Nice, irradiate, uh, but still 8 middles remaining. 5, 6 lurkers are out on the map. More lurkers and more zerging. Seven middles are doing great job. Great harassment. And now there's gonna be six lurker borrowing, but it does not have the carapace upgrade yet. But the mute up back up, do some fight over here. And I'm not sure if this is a good fight for Sharp. And Sharp does not want to play this game longer and he taps out. And Hero will be taking this game. And good play by Hero. Uh, I wonder, I think Sharp would have uh, like tried a little bit harder by adding more barracks and and since he had all those attack advantage where Hero does not have third base saturation yet and no third gas, I think Sharp could have tried this game a little bit longer but I guess Sharp does not want to continue this game any longer because he thinks he's, he's super behind in this game so Sharp taps out, he will be taking the game. Well, uh, great, great play by both players. Thank you for watching and if you guys enjoy watching these great games on StarCast TV, please hit the like and subscribe button. We will bring more interesting game in the future.